Okay guys, so we just got home. We went to the farmer's market. We had a really great day, but it was pretty hot. And he threw up in the truck again. He did this last week too. So yeah, all in the back of him is super dirty. So this will be his first real bath in the sink. He's had only one other bath before, believe it or not guys, in the tub. And this is a must though. So we gotta do it. We gotta clean him up. We'll see how this goes. So we just redid our kitchen a couple of months ago. It's kind of messy. <laughs> but the whole reason behind me getting this really deep sink, I think it's like a nine or 10 inch deep sink is of course my neighbor has to model along. And the whole reason behind me wanting this nice deep, I think it's like nine or 10 inches deep sink is solely for the reason so that I could give him and my other dogs a bath in it. Of course they fit in the more shallow sink, but this just makes it nicer. And got this pull out nozzle like that to make rinsing nice and easy. So we've got our doggy towel, our doggy shampoo. I'm obsessed with the smell of this. I love this brand so much. The ingredients are so great. It's tear free, so it's safe around their eyes. I can't say enough good things about this Bobby Panther shampoo. And I've got his dog nail clippers here. We just upgraded the size. These are the bigger ones. Um, the ones that I cut my other dog's nails with, they're just not, they're just not cutting it anymore for him. So we, we upgraded, we upgraded, he's a big guy now. All right, let's go get him. Oh, actually, let me, let me fill the sink first. Oh, and since it's his first official bath, of course we have to have the treats ready and the secret weapon, which is a barbecued bison burger from last night. Actually, since I think that this is going to be so much more of a hit, let's just use this. Cause those other treats are like everyday treats, but when you're doing something for the first time or something you think they might not be that thrilled about, it's always a good idea to go for those top-notch treats. Okay. All right, this may be a little more than I need, but, but it's always better to have more and not need it than not enough and not have it. Do you guys remember when he was so little? Oh, wait, this is like his third bath because he had a bath on one of his first full days of puppyhood. I'm going to insert a little clip because he was so stinking cute and tiny in the bathroom sink. Oh, honey. <laughs> okay. And you were still so stinking cute, but he's a bigger guy now. He weighs 18 pounds now, in case anybody's wondering. But you can always check out all of his um, growth videos. We always have them in the description box or just check out our playlist. We have a whole growth um, first year playlist. Okay, let's get started. Okay, he's already like, I think I wanna get out of here, but he's not, he's not being real bad about it at all, so. So far, so good. What a good boy. And he actually is fitting really nicely in here. I'm so glad. That was the plan. Now that I think about it, um, a good idea, if you feel like they're gonna jump out, is to leave a collar or harness on them with a leash because it just gives them that feeling too of like, okay, you, you know, you can't go anywhere. So I definitely should have done that. I also should have gotten cotton balls for his ears. You could tell that this is a very impromptu bath because he threw up. <laughs> Otherwise I would have been a little more prepared. Actually, I'm going to wait for the ears um, and the head I'm going to, and his face. I'm going to do that last because they think it's gonna, he's gonna really wanna shake if I get these big ears wet. There you go. Yeah, good boy. Okay. Oh, 
What a good boy. What a good boy. My legs are filthy. Okay, so now that he's all soaked up, I'm going to do the ears and head. Everybody wants to see your cute face. Yeah. I'm not going real crazy on the ears, like just a little superficially because, like I said, I didn't put cotton balls in them. What a good dog. Look at that face. Kind of giving him a little doggy massage on his face so he can really equate this with something nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he spit it out. He spit it out. I mean, he's really food motivated, but I think he's just like focused on giving me the eyes, telling me to like be done. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Time for the rinse. Are you feeling excited about this? So I'm drying his face first because I know he doesn't like water poured over his face. I'm drying his face and his ears. I can't believe how good he's being. And I'm not really sure what I'm doing with him now because I didn't want to, I didn't want to blow dry him on the first day of his bath because just getting him used to the bath itself. And I certainly don't want to let him outside yet. So I'm going to think about this. I know that's a weird noise. Actually, I'm going to dry him mostly in the sink since he seems to be pretty comfortable here. What a good dog. What a good dog. Wow, he's so good. And thank God because his um, fur is so long that it could be potentially hard. A little shorter. He has one dark nail. I didn't even know that. Oh, honey, okay. That's okay. Awesome. Okay. You are done. I mean, I just knew he was going to make a beeline for the love seat. Like, that was a given. But at least we have this blanket on it. And a bunch of junk. A bunch of junk you've been chewing. 
tea bags and sticks. Okay, so I actually brought him up on my bed. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but I did bring this old towel and I'm gonna need you to roll over onto the towel. Yeah, buddy, I'm gonna need you on the towel? Like all the way on the towel. Okay, so I'm just gonna real gently brush out his ears. Well, there you have it. Sawyer's first real bath in the sink. I think he did so well. He's actually getting sleepy now. He really did like even better than I thought. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you got something out of it. Share with us how bathing your puppy or your dog is going. Do you give them a bath in the sink? Do you give them a bath in the tub? Or do you just pay for somebody to do it for you? Which I totally understand that too. Guys, we will see you all next time. Thank you so much for being here with us. Bye, everyone.